Hey everyone, it's Dave here and welcome to the Hyper Dash Overview. Dude, finally, this game is on the official store. It is essentially a side quest legend at this point. I'm not sure about the statistics, but to me it was the most successful game that appeared and developed on the side store, apart from the Oculus. I remember when I saw first Hyper Dash, I immediately saw huge potential. Even thinking about if it's not gonna be like, you know, the first kind of serious entry to do like VR esports, because this game has so much going on in terms of gameplay and just mechanics and it just needed to appear on the official store and it's here finally. If you were living under the rock and you didn't know about the side quest in general, Paper Dash is a multiplayer arena shooter, very much fast paced, comparing to games like Population 1 or Onward or just like any shooter in general. Hyper Dash is like the fastest in terms of mechanics and just gameplay. While I'm not a huge shooter person, Hyper Dash is a very much in the lines of my taste if we're talking about just shooting stuff and the competitive side of it. This game is a prime example that there are actually a really good projects on sidequests that should arrive on the official store while they're ready to release. It is such a polished game, I remember last time I played it was pretty much long time ago, a few months at least, and even then the game was like just excellent. It has huge community, huge. I'm pretty sure the success of it is gonna be very much comparable to Population 1, maybe even bigger, who knows, because it arrives with such big community that I don't think any game releasing on the store ever had before. And people who just now are finding out about it, they missed out on a pretty big chunk of good gameplay because the game was free all the way on side quest and now it's gonna be like, you know, I think 20 bucks, but it's like worth every penny pretty much. Especially the developers put so much work into it that there are so many people that would pay any price at this point for this project. For me personally, Hyper Dash is very much familiar with one game that I've played like my whole middle or even high school, which is called S4 League. It's actually very very much resemblant of that because of the fast gameplay, kind of like, you know, dashes, dodges, very much reactive skill based combat system that Hyper Dash pretty much is like a taste for me in VR of that. I know the game is gonna be good because I mean, there's no way it's gonna fuck up on the release day. The only thing that I'm kind of worried about is the servers because I remember when you were playing Hyper Dash, you had to connect to the servers to like, you know, play in a room for a certain category of gameplay if it's for deathmatch or something else. I'm kind of worried that the servers are gonna like, you know, explode but I know this game is gonna pull through no matter what it is first time appearing on the Vichu store but people already know what's about it's just kind of like formality to be out there for people who had no opportunity to play on side quest I'm very excited for the future of it I'm actually very curious what's gonna happen with this project overall it's not like I'm hyping up you know this esport potential or whatever truly see that it can go far it's not this kind of like you know Solaris unfinished project or just like population one missing features to become a VR a sport game ready like spectator mode or stuff like that just basic stuff but we're talking about the core gameplay and just competitive scene i think this game is perfect for that to bring you know <laughs> my s4 league dream i would want this game to go in the direction of full combat arenas so for example if you're talking about melee weapons additional skills aside from dashing maybe certain classes that have maybe different weapons or just like mechanics maybe it seems a little bit overwatchy you know the blizzard thing but i think like with enough support and guidance from the community of this game it's gonna be a sure system seller i've not played a couple months so there's gonna be some new things that i'm gonna be discovering today but i remember how to play and just like how the basics works so let's just enjoy the experience I think almost the quest store crashed because of this release. <laughs> Literally, I could not even check out my purchase and I tried everything. Like, I think this release is so big that even Oculus couldn't handle it. So that's crazy. We're finally here. Uh, we didn't need to do training because I know how to play. I guess kinda. I don't really remember the controls, but I know the mechanics. So what do we have new? I don't think we have to customize. You can customize helmet and weapons. Oh wow, so you can choose like skins or whatever. Unlocked by leveling, okay. Not like microtransactions pop one. <laughs> we can as well customize controllers. That's amazing actually. That was something very needed, especially for me like in Echo VR. I could not customize the controllers and it's very mandatory for many people, especially for competitive so Amazing. I would say microphone input would be push to talk for now. What is the button? <laughs> it says? No. Okay, well, whatever. I'm not gonna even talk now. Smooth turning obviously. Profile with monthly stats. Leveling. Okay, I think we can just jump into 
into it. Oh, so now we have like two options. We can either sever browsers. So how many servers are there actually now? Because it was six back in the day when I was playing. And now, holy fuck. <laughs> it is never ending. It's mostly US, I can see. Dallas, Washington, stuff like that. Not many European, I feel like. But then it's like sorted by European, so that's fine. So the closest to me is like here. Okay, we're gonna do the quick play anyways. That's very handy then. You just jump into the game no matter where. Fun. Okay. Oh, GG. So, what colors am I? Oh, shit. <laughs> I think, I mean, I'm... Oh no, it's the, a dev match, I think. So everyone is by themselves. Ah, yeah, okay, okay, it's dev match. So everyone by themselves, you just pretty much kill people. <laughs> chaos, dev match is chaos then. Peach! <laughs> <laughs> no 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 <laughs> Cheat Oh no 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 <laughs> Cheat Where are you? Oh no <laughs> There are a lot of pros still playing this game so you know it's kinda like you're gonna suck, firstly, if you're not like played in months like me, but there's so many people like playing this game that... <laughs> it's usually you're getting confused where you're even teleporting. Pretty much. I need to focus pretty much because you it's about fast movements and just fastly just kind of teleporting to the spots you wanna kill them. I do wonder if I know certain people. Usually by the clan names, I was in the French one, briefly, not even. <laughs> Holy hell. <laughs> not even like a long time, because I was not playing that much, I remember. But now it's like more incentive for me to actually participate in the scene. Oh damn, <laughs> already slashing here. Uh -huh. huh? Yeah, it helps if you're not playing on the bed. <laughs> that way you can just turn. Holy shit, I'm bad. <laughs> shit! <laughs> I don't even know what's happening. <laughs> I'm spawning and dying. <laughs> Oh damn. <laughs> oh damn. There's a lot of plants playing now. Usually those initials before the name means that someone is in the group. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm like the worst. Of course. Ah, oh, this one was a newbie. <laughs> My techniques are usually fast dashing with uh, like powered bullets. Doesn't mean it's a good tactic. <laughs> That's just mine, I guess. I also don't tend to get any weapons for some reason. I just like pistols. It's pretty much that. Okay, I'm getting warmed up. Hmm, doing fine. <laughs> Gonna be leveling up again. I'm doubling the devs' uh, skills. Nothing new here. 
<laughs> now we can vote for the next map. That's cute, actually. Wait, someone's from... Ah, oh, CK is here, okay. Waterway, Pedal... Okay, yeah. Pelot is just, we are leading the card to kind of certain point. From this side, it's like the easiest mode because then it's very easy to cheat the system and just kind of move it. We already have a bot that's gonna move, so that's fine. Damn, no one on the horizon, so we're pushing the card. <laughs> oh, and dead. <laughs> oh, they're moving from there. This is a new map to me, like, I'm kinda confused where I'm going actually. I'm pretty sure Envy is a clan as well. <laughs> okay, let's push this fucking card. Uh -uh. Nope. There's also a shield here, so they have to go from behind. That's why it's kinda easy from this side of the map. But then it switches, so, like, not being unfair or something. I'm pushing the card for this. <laughs> I'm playing for the win. <laughs> no! Ah, I'm hiding! No, no, no. <laughs> Usually it's as well good to go in squad, because alone in this game, unless you're like really a pro, <laughs> it's hard. <laughs> oh wow, kill in error. We're like almost halfway through, so that's fine. <laughs> it's uh, fast, it's fast paced. <laughs> No. <laughs> okay, fast in, fast out. Damn. <laughs> ah, someone is asking, that's why we're like slow. Hmm. I tend to go in for like, you know, suicide, but that's just my <laughs> gameplay, I guess. Bam. Pushing. Nope. Don't do it. Shit, no one's pushing. Nope. Here. Ay 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 ay. Choke point, half minute. Okay, we're not gonna make it. And that's fine, like, this is the first day of release, so it's like people are already kinda getting used to the game, I guess. Okay, they won. It's a good old hyper dash, so that's pretty much, you know, the game. You can clearly see there's still a split in between, like, skill, because the game just released on Quest, and I suck as well. <laughs> I'm rusty. For me, this game is the competitive game overall. That's the beauty of it. Just playing with people and connecting with voice touch and stuff like that, you know? And hopefully this game is gonna be a staple in that regard. Since, like, it grew from the version I've played as well, there are more options, more customizations, like, just... Everything's very clean and precise, so all hail Hyperdash!